Google AI, DeepMind AI has actually got a real breakthrough that can improve humanity. I mean, we all are looking at OpenAI for AGA and things that they can do to improve humanity. But there is a silent work that has been going on from Google DeepMind. And the latest in that is that Google DeepMind's new AI, which is called Genome, has detected or discovered millions of new materials that can be actually stable. It can transform everything from superconductor to rechargeable batteries and a lot more other things thanks to this new AI called Genome. In this video, we're going to break down what is Genome and what are the things that you can do with Genome. First of all, to start with, this is quite impressive. To be really honest, this deserves much more media attention than what OpenAI drama has been getting. This new tool is called Genome, which has found 2.2 million new crystals. Out of this 2.2 million new crystals, there are 380,000 stable materials that could power future technologies. Whenever you have to find a new material, new crystal, it has to be stable. Otherwise, you cannot build anything with that because if the crystal is not stable, they would decompose and, um, you know, it's it usually takes a lot of time, painstaking experimentation to actually figure out whether the material or the crystal would be stable or not. And Google's DeepMind genome actually accelerates that process. Everything that we have in this world, whether it is from computer chip or batteries or solar panels, all these things rely on inorganic crystals. So that's why it's important to figure out these crystals and important to figure out new chemical substances. Like for example, your battery works based on lithium ion. So if you figure out something that is much better than lithium ion, it is going to revolutionize the battery technology. So there are two papers that we're going to take a quick look in this video. The first paper is from Google DeepMind and the second paper is from the organization that they partnered with. That is the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. So the first paper that says scaling deep learning for material discovery. This paper is from Google DeepMind. So this paper actually tells you what all the things that they have done and what kind of impact it can have. The most important thing of this paper is that they are using a technology or they're using an AI technique called graph neural networks, GNN. So typically whenever you talk about neural networks, you would talk about layers and all the other things. And this is how a typical neural network would look. It would have like an input, it would have an output, it would have a bunch of hidden layers. But what if inside these layers, you can represent everything with a graph? A graph typically contains nodes. So for example, if you want to build a natural language processing or natural language generating neural network, in a graph neural network, GNN, these nodes could be words or tokens. Imagine you want to build a computer vision model and typically like a CNN, like a convolutional neural network. But if you want to represent that as a graph neural network, then your the nodes could be pixels. So this is how you build a graph neural network. And what Google DeepMind has done is they have used a typical graph neural network, like they not typical, they would have done much more than that. But they've used that graph neural network to actually come up with these um, crystals, these compounds, and uh, they have also helped in detecting whether it is stable or not. And that is uh, quite a breakthrough because what happens is if you see uh, Google DeepMind's announcement, before using human experimentation, they have figured out uh, 20,000 crystals, like 20,000 crystals were experimentally identified using human experimentation. With uh, quantum material database and WBM database, uh, like some computational method, that had scaled up to 48,000 materials, 48,000 stable crystals. Now what Genome, the AI that Google DeepMind has built has done is it has identified a new 421,000 materials known to humanity. I mean, this is, this is absolutely amazing. And uh, the discovery of Google DeepMind's 2.2 million materials would be equivalent of 800 years worth of knowledge. And this is probably like one of the biggest discoveries in this particular space. And uh, if you, for example, if you take 52,000 new layered compounds similar to graphene that have potential to revolutionize electronics uh, with the development of superconductors have been identified. Previously, you had only 1,000 such materials, but now you have 52,000 materials. I mean, from 1,000, to 52,000. 
if you talk about lithium ion conductors like the one that are used in batteries previously uh, right now they have figured out 50 528 new items and which is 25,000 sorry 25 times more than not 1000 25, 25 times more than the previous study which could help in improving the performance of rechargeable battery so overall if you see this is quite amazing and um, th this i think this is one of the greatest discoveries after alpha fold uh, which was google deep minds ai that could detect a new protein compound or understand the protein compounds in itself the more understanding or a discovering compound is one thing um, or a crystal is one thing or material is one thing but the other thing is like for a material uh, to be considered stable it must not decompose into similar composition with lower energy like, like for example carbon in a graphene like structure is stable compared to carbon in diamond so mathematically these materials lie on a convex hull so this project discovered 2.2 new crystals that are actually stable by current scientific standards and lie below the convex convex hull of previous discoveries of these discover of all the 2.2 million 380,000 are considered to be the most stable and lie on the final convex hull which is a new standard that they have set for material stability now what google has also done is they have actually shared the data set for under models for you to go try it out yourself like if you have that particular knowledge they have given a summary of data set in csv they're also probably going to add a collab notebook which is currently not available but in this actually you can see that they're going to add a collab notebook that will actually help you understand you know how um, you can see the convex hull for these materials so ideally when the collab notebook is available it will show you how you can load the material in csv and then calculate the convex hull so that you know that for example it is uh, more stable less stable and all the other things the second paper that i wanted to uh, show you today is actually put out by the organization that google had partnered with this is uh, they have put out a paper saying an autonomous laboratory for accelerated synthesis of novel materials and they have said over 17 days of continuous operation the lab the lab that we are talking about realized 41 novel compounds from a set of 58 targets including a variety of oxides and phosphates that were identified using large scale um, abinito phase stability fra data from google materials project and google deep mind so the point here is that um, it did not just discover material but scientists have validated it i mean it's not like you know you show something on paper and then you move on scientists have validated it thanks to these synthesis recipes were proposed by natural language models trained on literature so it took the knowledge of what humans already know and optimized using an active learning approach grounded in thermodynamics so the point here is that they have figured out new materials and these new materials have potential to actually succeed in the real world i think that they have to still figure out with experiment and all the other things but i mean it's not at least some um, news material or pr or somebody talking about aga and then moving on i guess like this is truly remarkable if you want to read more about it i link all the links in the description and if you have any knowledge about material science and you are watching this video i'm definitely looking forward to learn more from you please share some more materials and resources about why this is a breakthrough or if not see you on the video happy prompting